fellas welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our video series today we're talking about five bad boy fragrances and maybe you can grow up into be dangerous man the fragrances that we have today are really really nice and i think they will help you in your journey of really making that shift in transition but if you have not seen video one be sure to check that out after this video down below so without any further ado let's go ahead and get down to big beard business The first fragrance on our list today comes from the house of Chris Collins, and this one's called Long Kiss Goodnight. Now, I ended up purchasing the entire collection, and this is one of the standout fragrances here. This fragrance is meant to be that middle point between being mysterious and being approachable, almost like a kiss goodnight. Now, although this fragrance is in the white bottle, you would think that this is a fresher fragrance. And even looking at some of the notes give you a tropical feel. But when I spray this thing on, I think it's a little more seductive, a little darker than some of the other fragrances that we had in part. One. Now, Long Kiss Goodnight does feature passion fruit and coffee, but that's not all. You do get some amber and you also get rose in here as well. And all of those things together does give it a darker feel that airs in between mysterious and approachable. Now here's the kicker, this is a warm fragrance, but there is also this resinous oud within this fragrance, which is the mystery here, because the oud within this fragrance gives it a raw, romantic, mysterious play, and you would think that this fragrance would be bright and open and tropical, but no, this fragrance here has a darker approach, that bad boy feel that will turn you into a dangerous man. Overall, it's a symphony of passion and allure and a fragrance that I feel that Chris Collins did a wonderful job on. If you have not tried out this fragrance or any of his others, make sure you do so. Now, the second fragrance on our list today was made by a master in perfume along with his apprentice, Jerome DiMarino. The fragrance comes from the house of Nabitas Parfums and the master perfumer that made this creation is Francis Kirk. Jean. And this fragrance was made in collaboration with me and Nabitas Parfums to really make something that was going to be the epitome of success. And this fragrance was based upon that. So you really get the pinnacles of success once you become a grown man. This one is super seductive. You get your Italian bergamot here in the top, but then things take a twist and get darker. As I did mention, you get rich tobaccos, you get some spiciness in here, you get the cacao, you get olabdenum. Benzoin, Madagascar pepper, you get Haitian vetiver, you get uh, American cedarwood. There's a lot going on within this fragrance. It's not one for everyone, but it is a phenomenal fragrance in my personal opinion. Exalting away from the house of Navitas Parfums. Now, speaking of phenomenal fragrances, there will be no gripes about this next one. A lot of you out there are going to say, you know what, B? You're right on. The fragrance comes from the house of Dior, and this is part of the Dior Own series, one of the rarest ones out there, although it's easy to pick up. The depending on where you look. The fragrance is none other than that of Dior Homme Parfum. Now this fragrance here is one of the most sought out fragrances from the Dior Homme lineup. You can catch it in a number of videos out there talking about attraction, talking about sexy fragrances for men, all of those things, and that's what you would get here. This one is a step up or two from the OG that is more in that boy space, especially if you're looking at the sport or the cologne, although I do enjoy them both. This fragrance here is sensual. It's seductive. This one is grown man, suit and tie. Think Pharrell and Jay-Z, as long as I got my shirt and tie. This is a scent that you will enjoy. This one is grown man approved. Cacao in here, um, or some type of chocolate nuance in the scent. Uh, one fragrance that lasts a long time, and the iris is still alive there and well. Great play on that scent, in my humble opinion. Dior own Parfum. Now, as we circle back around to a master perfumer out there, there. Um, this one goes to MFK, and this one is Ooh Satin Mood. Ooh Satin Mood is a phenomenal fragrance that is oud, it's deep, it's rich. Oh man, this one is like, I am 
expensive. I am luxurious and this one is a manly scent in my humble opinion. Although women have been known to rock this fragrance. I don't find a school age boy wearing this fragrance. So your middle school, elementary school, early high school, maybe even late high school. This is not going to be your fragrance unless you are Rico Suave. You are Ghost from Power or maybe you're Tariq trying to step things up and follow in your father's footsteps. This scent here is just amazing. It's top tier. It does all of the things that we talked about. A 10 out of 10 fragrance in my humble opinion. And if you're rocking this fragrance around some other guys, they're going to give you that nod of approval. If you can rock this one to a cigar lounge, you can wear this one to work with ease like easy don't be don't go heavy on a trigger here and then you can also um wear this one on a date night i would be cautious of where you wear this on a date night simply because you know the lady you might be with may not be a huge fan of oud but the oud in this one is done in such a way it's not harsh it's smooth it just kind of calls you in it says come on don't make this difficult. Come on in. All right. And that's what you get with this one. If you're looking for a oud from MFK, I find that satin mood or the satin mood extra is going to be probably the better way to go versus the oud silk mood. In my personal opinion, oud satin mood takes the cake. And the final fragrance on our list today has oud wood, it has benzoin, it has incense, it has raspberry, and it's from the house of Louis Vuitton. And this one is Ombre Nomad. Now, I have been late to the game as it relates back to Louis Vuitton fragrances simply because I've never had a place close to me that specialized in their fragrances. And now that I'm here in Dallas, well, it's alive and well. This one was actually given to me by the missus, and it has my initials engraved in here. And she thought, hey, you might like this fragrance. We got it in, and boy, was I blown away. Overall, this is a passionate fragrance, but the Oud is the star of the show. I've gotten so many compliments in the short time of wearing this fragrance that I had to place it on this list. Now, this isn't the most complimented list, but these fragrances, whether we're on part one or part two, are going to lean to getting you compliments. They're going to lean to being fragrances that women favor. So if you are looking for those types of scents, then these are the fragrances you need to try out. These are dangerous scents. They're dangerously seductive. They're dangerously masculine, and they are dangerously going to burn a hole in your pocket if you purchase all of them. I would urge you to go through, try these fragrances out, see one, one or two or three or maybe even all 10 with both lists fit your personal scent profile and then add them to your collection as you may. Listen, that's all I have for you today. That is part two. Again, if you have not checked out part one, go back and check out part one because, well, I think there's some fragrances on there as well that smell amazing. That's all I got for you today. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend that we are back again helping you out man helping you elevate your style your scent profile and taking you from a boy to a man you know what else i need you to do though that's hit the goddamn damn